Okay, so X-Men 97 is blowing all of our freaking minds. Like, I I'm sure you guys have noticed it, but the amount of hype and love for X-Men 97 online right now, insane. Like, a bunch of normies, a bunch of people that aren't, like, super big nerds in the space praising it. People are calling it, like, better than Endgame. Like, it's crazy, but it it it's very good making some waves. Well, we just got a trailer for the next half of the season. I saw this pop up a little ago. This blew my freaking mind. And so I want to watch it with you guys. We'll kind of react to it uh, together. And there's a lot of stuff that they tease in this. It's only like 30 seconds long. But holy shit, they tease some incredible stuff. So we'll break that down. And uh, I'll speculate about what I think it all means in just a second here. So here we go. You have to get everyone out. He's coming. If only you knew the future we have in store. Woo! While you X-Men have been holding hands, we've been placing dominoes. Mm. I think there's really gonna be a war. <laughs> we shall not live our days wondering if we could have saved more. We face this as we always have. What? Oh, man. And, like, the music, dude. The music's just hard as hell, too, right? But, like, I mean, you got a Captain America tease at the end there. With Captain America, they're teasing a war. This trailer's literally called Marvel Animation's X-Men 97 War Disney+. Plus. Okay? And so, in the wake of what we just watched, right, with uh, Episode 5 and the attack on Genosha, which is... From Grant Morrison's New X-Men. I got some New X-Men. I got uh, the third volume of the New X-Men right here. Dude, it, It's this is some of the craziest X-Men stuff. It's absolutely awesome. By the way, if you're a, a fan of the streams, tomorrow morning, Friday morning, I'm going to have Rob from Comics Explained on. And Rob and I are going to geek out about X-Men 97, about where this is all going. And I'm sure we're going to talk about this trailer as well. Uh, Rob and I were texting earlier. The conversation was about, like, who is behind this? Because it's Cassandra Nova in the Grant Morrison X-Men stuff, but both of us kind of think, I don't know if it's going to be the same thing here in the show. They are adapting comic book stuff, but they're changing comic book stuff. So let's go through this again, okay? So obviously, you've got the devastation of Genosha. You have that shot uh, with Cable and Madeline Pryor. Look, I got to tell you, uh, Bo DeMeo been out on Twitter talking about stuff. Madeline Pryor's dead, dude. She she is a hundred percent dead, uh, according to Bo. So that's fucking nuts, right? Uh, they did all this stuff, and now she's just like gone. It's like crazy, but yeah. And then you got Sinister here. Now, what Sinister is saying here is uh, crazy because what he is says is um, about the future. Uh, if only you knew the future that we have in store. Okay, now, is is that a line kind of hinting that it's Sinister and somebody else? And if it's Sinister and somebody else, is it probably would be Sinister and Apocalypse, right? However, Sinister and Apocalypse kind of have a little bit of a falling out in the other seasons of the animated show. And because that's canon to this, it's like, okay, maybe Sinister's teaming up with somebody else. Is Sinister teaming up with Cassandra Nova? Is Sinister teaming up with uh, somebody else from the future? Is Sinister teaming up with some of the humans that want to eliminate the mutants? It's kind of cra crazy, okay? Uh, I experienced the new series. Okay, so this is Trask. So while you X-Men have been holding hands, uh, we've been placing dominoes. Now, I think that comes from the earlier episodes, right? But is that, again, some kind of a tease that Trask is actually working with somebody like Sinister and they had this plan to take out Genosha together. Who knows for sure? Uh, and you get some shots. Everyone is watching. I, I, I am curious, like, how the show is actually doing, right? Uh, and then he's here talking about a war, right? So Sunspot's actually talking about a war. And that does appear to be the direction it's going in. It does appear that Magneto, after what just happened on Genosha, and look, Magneto could be dead. We don't really know for sure, right? He says, don't be afraid. I kind of doubt he will be dead. I think he'll um, probably put the helmet back on. I think it's militant Magneto from here, and I'm not sure how they're going to get there, but that's kind of my prediction. But Sunspot here, talking about how there's going to be a war, that's absolutely nuts, dude. And I think... 
that especially with the Captain America thing at the end, I think that's probably what's going to happen. Now streaming on Disney Plus, like I was saying, I'm kind of interested to see how much, uh, how many people are actually watching the show. You know what I mean? But this is crazy. I don't know. That, I think that's a new shot. I don't think we've seen Sinister actually in action that much yet in the show. So that seems like a new uh, shot. You know, this is from uh, episode five, obviously. What's that? Is that Sentinels? It seems like it's probably Sentinels coming in. You've got uh, Wolverine torn up costume here, battle damaged. And you have swashbuckling uh, version uh, of Nightcrawler here, right? And I don't think we've seen this yet, unless I'm mistaken. So this look, looks to be some kind of another action thing where even more Sentinels are coming in. Maybe there is an escalation. Is this Age of Apocalypse future timeline? Like, there's so many possibilities here, right? Um, and then you've got Storm and Forge there. Who is that? Who? Yeah, swashbuckling. I mean, again, it's like, ah, oh, man, is that going to be? Is that Polaris? That could be Polaris, man. Uh, it, it it probably is just Jean, right? Probably just Jean. And I think they have been like doing some of her telekinetic powers like that. Now, this is wild, bro. What the heck's going on here? Captain America's shield. Okay. Now, Captain America has been in this universe before. We've seen him in other uh, episodes. There's like a Spider-Man Secret Wars kind of crossover thing that happens with the uh, X-Men. I believe he was in even more than that. I can't really recall. But this is crazy, dude. Captain America, are we getting Avengers vs. X-Men? Are they going to build up to Avengers vs. X-Men in this season? Because it seems like the writing team, you know, Bo and everybody involved in X-Men 97, it seems like they're grabbing all sorts of X-Men stuff. There's like Claremont stuff here. But there's Grant Morrison stuff here. Could we even see some of the Hickman stuff? And then the Avengers vs. X-Men, that's a really crazy buildup as well. Now, that kind of happens after the fallout of the House of M and Wanda saying no more mutants and then Hope Summers being the first mutant that's born in a long, long time. So I don't know if that's going to be the way that it goes. But I'll tell you this, regardless of all of that, I could I, you could see Captain America and the Avengers getting involved if the X-Men become more militant. And we're starting to see Cyclops, you know, turn a little bit. Like, I saw flashes of the Scotty Summers that would become the Phoenix Cyclops and kill Professor Xavier in Avengers vs. X-Men. You start to see that turn in him in Episode 5, and I think that turn will be pushed even further now. You've got Magneto, and if he's somehow alive, oh, man, it's over. Like, Magneto's going hardcore uh, away from Charles's dream, unfortunately, but it's also like we can we kind of understand why, right? So, damn, dude, uh, absolutely crazy stuff going on with X Men '97, uh, and and I'm really really excited. Like the the show is exceeding all of my expectations, which were pretty wild, you know, and it's making huge waves out there and um you know, look we're gonna talk more about this on the stream tomorrow I i'm i'm really really hyped up about x-men 97 and i'm gassing this thing up because i think it's brilliant it's one of the best things that marvel has done in a long time and this little trailer kind of just slipped out there captain america shield mind blowing so i wanted to kind of just do a little reaction a little breakdown for you guys here again we'll be streaming tomorrow more videos all kinds of stuff coming at you uh press the like button subscribe all that kind of stuff as i always say i hope you're having an awesome and a nerdy day and i'll see you in the next video